In this video, we're going to show how we can get reproducible results from an artificial neural network in Keras. You may have noticed when you train a single model multiple times at distinctly different periods in time that you may get varying results during each separate time you train in regards to the loss and accuracy metrics or your predictions. This is because when we train a model, the weights for our model are first initialized with random numbers. Due to this random initialization, when we train the model, the weights are going to start off with different random values, and then will dynamically change during training via gradient descent. This will be true each time we train, so for each of these different times, we're going to be starting off with a different set of random values for our weights. So if we create a model and train it today, and then use that model to make predictions for image classification, for example, then it may tell us that it's 98% certain that the last image we passed it was an image of a dog. We think this is great, and we close our program without saving a copy of our model on disk. The next day, we open our program back up, and we still have the code in place for the architecture of the model. We then compile the model and train it on the exact same data as we did yesterday for the same amount of epochs. We then give it the same image to predict on, but this time it tells us that it's only 95% certain that our image is of a dog, whereas yesterday it was 98% certain. So this illustrates varying results that we may get due to the random weight initialization that occurs when we train our exact same model on the exact same training data. Now, this variation is fine, and it's expected due to the random nature of initializing the weights we just mentioned, as well as some other configurations that are random by nature involved with our network, like dropout, for example. Recall, dropout drops out nodes at random from a specified layer. So although this variation is expected, there are times where we want our model to reproduce the exact same results regardless of when we train it, as long as we're doing so on the same training data, of course. We may desire this type of reproducibility for a class assignment or maybe a live presentation so that we can be prepared with the exact results our model will yield ahead of time. Or we may even desire this reproducibility just for testing purposes during the development phase of our model. So regardless of our reason for wanting to achieve reproducible results, we're going to now show how to achieve this reproducibility for our Keras model. So to quickly reiterate, the whole reason that we may not get exactly reproducible results from our model in the first place is due to the random nature of some pieces in our model and the training algorithm. So essentially, what we need to do is strip out this randomness. We can do this by setting a random seed to any given number before we build and train our model. By setting a random seed, we're forcing the quote random initialization of the weights to be generated based upon the seed we set. Then, going forward, as long as we're using the same random seed, we can ensure that all of the random variables in our model will always be generated in the exact same manner. If we didn't set the random seed, then each time we trained our model, the random variables in our model would be generated differently. So for Keras, we'll be generating a random seed for any random numbers that are generated by Python, or by NumPy, or by the Keras backend engine, TensorFlow. To do this, we'll have to set the random seed for each of these separately. We want to make sure to set our random seeds right at the start of our program before we run any other code in regards to our model. Okay, so now let's see what this looks like in code. All right, so here we're just importing NumPy, TensorFlow, and the Python library, random. As a quick aside, before we set the random seeds, the Keras documentation lets us know that this piece here where we're setting the os.environ Python hash seed equal to zero, is necessary for any reproducibility for certain hash-based algorithms. So we put that in right under our import statements. But directly after this, we now set our random seed for NumPy, like so. And I've specified 37 here as my random seed, but you can use any int that you'd like. So then we specify the random seed for Python, as shown here, and that's by using the random library. And finally, we do the same thing for TensorFlow by calling the setRandomSeed function. Now, as an additional item, the Keras documentation also tells us that we should force TensorFlow to use a single thread since multiple threads are a potential source of non-reproducible results. And we can do that here with this code, which is directly provided from the documentation. So like I previously mentioned, you want to do all of this at the very start of your program and then proceed with creating your model and training your model after all of these random seeds have been set. And that's all there is to it for getting reproducible results from our Keras model. 
So I hope now you understand the intuition behind the randomness involved with training and how this may affect our ability to get reproducible results from our model, and also how you can force reproducibility by setting these random seeds before creating your model. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, suggest, and comment. And thanks for watching.